non-Christian. You cannot cling to the promise of God without first clinging to the cross of God. Amen. The first and most important promise is that the gospel is the power of salvation to those who believe. Once this promise is in place, then you are able and a portion to partake of the promises. But they all must come through. All of those promises must come through the cross of Jesus to you. Christian, this sincere faith takes many, take many shapes as it is applied to your life. A sincere faith built upon the teachings of the Word of God enables us to trust in His promises, which allows us to entrust the things God has given us to His usage for His glory. Remember what, what love was? It moves from selfishness serving. Now the reason why I say this and ask this, is this what the teaching you have received has brought into your life? Paul says it should. And scripture says it should. And because Paul, inspired by the Holy Spirit, put it into scripture, and we read it today, God said it should. And that's the reason why. So in conclusion, Paul has told Timothy to stop men from teaching things that don't further the administration of God and that proper teaching should lead to love which flows from a pure heart, a good conscience, and a sincere faith. Do you approach the times we spend here teaching the Word of God in this way? Or do you think of it as a ritual that will win you points with God? Does your attendance to the preaching and teaching of God's Word match your answer? Stepping on toes, I know God's Word is purposeful. It brings us a better understanding of the hope we have in salvation through Christ Jesus. If you do not have this hope, or if you see your need to respond to repentance and faith in Jesus, I pray that you will do it even now. So some ways that we can respond. If you have responded to the Gospel, we would love to celebrate that with you. A walking the aisle when we sing will not save you. I cannot save you. Only Jesus can do that. He is the only way of salvation. But if you have done that today, or if you've done it recently and you would like, we would love to celebrate that with you. Maybe you've responded to the gospel and you realize your need to follow Jesus in baptism. Come this morning when we sing and, and let us know. Or finally, perhaps God has placed on your heart through the teaching of his word this morning, your need to be part of a local fellowship of believers who take seriously the teaching of God's word and who want to have fellowship with others who are striving to put the same things into practice that they have learned. Now, I'll say right up front, we aren't perfect here at First Southern, but we are striving to support one another and love one another, to watch over one another and to worship God together with one another. We would love to have you come alongside us and become a member of First Seven. 